until you get into the preparation of your big day. It's almost impossible to fathom how much work is involved. While it can be fun, <laughs> there can be a lot of issues that can arise with wedding planning. So, you might have questions, but a wedding planner would mean extra cost. What if they don't understand exactly what you want? That is why this episode is so important. Hi everyone, my name is Ijoman Bebu, founder of Elitan Event. We are located in Nigeria and also the world at large. To help us understand wedding planning and the entire budget nitty gritty involved. <laughs> My name is Yvonne Akomedai. I'm the founder and design consultant for Ivy Little Bed Concepts. We're event managers with a difference. How important is it to have an event planner? It's extremely important to have an event planner. From the beginning, from the day you decide to have an event until after your event, because there's a process. There's the pre-event, there's the event, and there's the post-event. And you cannot handle everything. Wedding planning, hmm, wedding planning can be very overwhelming. So with that, we know that a, a couple, they can, they might not be able to manage everything from, you know, the budget, the the uh, the stress of event planning, the time management, the even there's so many things that they have to work on to to be actually be able to get a proper wedding prepared. So with that, you cannot a, a bride might not have time to talk about maybe start checking for vendors you know vendor sourcing trying to get vendors for their event they will need somebody to handle that for them hi my name is ayo and i am a tax consultant planning myself or hiring a planner which one will cost more i think funny enough planning myself will cost more because i could decide to do something today i would have this maybe this cake and then tomorrow I'm like, ah, you know what, cancel that order, make another one, and that will cost more. But then if you plan with your event planner, or your wedding planner rather, you guys just make the decision, and last minute changes are always not, like, visible, because it's not you that is doing it, so I think it costs more, because if I do it myself. So event planners can actually save you money most of the time, right? So in a way, for, like what I said before, I use 15 naira. Obviously, there's nothing that is 15 naira now. Literally, even buying a suite is not even 15 naira anymore. So, but I'm using 15 naira as an example so that my, you know. So, for instance, like I said, 15 naira is your budget, and 20 naira is your decor. You might call chat an event, um, chat a, de a decorator personally and just say, oh, I need this, I need that, I need this, and you don't have any relationship with this decorator, but an event planner does. Right? If the event planner understands that, oh, this is your budget, they'll be able to talk to that person. They'll say, okay, see, this is my bride. So, sometimes I go, I, I go as much as telling them, that's my sister, or uh, that's my relation, no. So you just say, oh, this is my bride, please, please, please do it for her. I'll probably help, maybe call me for another event, I will do it for you, or something. You'll try and find a way to actually work on that client's budget. Right? But in a case that an event planner might cost you much, then that's called padding, right? So padding means, um, I don't know, they maybe add money, but that, I don't, I've never seen it happen before. So, but that is like when I feel that event planning might be, might cost you money, right? Or at the end of the day, they have luxury event planners, right? And if somebody's luxury, the person is luxury for a reason, and if you want luxury, you pay for luxury. You can't want luxury and get and pay for average. It's not done. You cannot want average and be going for luxury. It cannot happen. It doesn't work like that. Hi, my name is Ajara Marie, and I am the founder of Woman Mean Business. How long before my wedding would I contact an event planner? I think I would need a year out to um, contact an event planner. For a wedding, it will take two years because my kind of wedding is going to be out of the world, it's something phenomenal. I'm going to have a wedding on a yacht, a floating yacht, and drones flying everywhere. Okay, that's so dramatic, but yeah, that kind of thing. So it will take two years to contact my event planner. When is the best time for a couple to hire their event planner? I would say like uh, nine months, nine to 12 months, right? Reason being, um, it takes a lot to plan an event. 
yes, I have actually planned an event in nine weeks before. Like, sorry, not nine weeks. Yes, in nine weeks before. Oh, sorry, nine days before. I planned a wedding, a 700 guest wedding in nine days before. But it took a lot and the client spent more, right? But if you take uh, 12 months, nine months, if you book your um, planner nine months, 12 months before the time, you first of all, you get a very, you will get good venues. Getting a good venue, especially in Lagos, is very hard. Most of them, by the time you call, for instance, five pounds, they'll tell you, oh, we're booked. You know, so you need that, that, that amount of time to actually get good vendors, right? So um, I would say nine to 12, you know, and also to create a bond between, I, people might not take this, uh, you know, uh, seriously, but I, I try as much as possible to create like a bond with my client to understand them better. Right, so you you might there's some brides that 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 can be very needy. It's not that they, they just want attention. So you need to understand that bride. You cannot plan her event in nine days. Obviously, you have to plan her event in like nine months, say six months. Uh, to me, six months should be the like the least time, and uh, you should actually call an event planner so that you can have much ample time to discuss everything and also, like I said, to bond and also, if possible. Meet the family so that they know that you are with them and not, not without them yet. So, you heard it. Wedding planning can be chaotic. So many elements coming together to make a wedding. Food, flowers, music, photography, and a whole lot more. If you would prefer the burden to be taken off your table, get a wedding planner who understands you and is willing to work with your budget. Till next time. It's still wedding on a budget.